So, which labels are best for Amazon stickers? Uh, what are the product codes? Why there are different product codes on many different websites and how to find which one is which? Uh, should you use uh, original ones or compatible ones, replacements? And what printers actually should you use for uh, printing Amazon FBA stickers? I'm gonna discuss uh, Dymo, uh, labels, uh, stickers uh, and printers in this video. So let's start. Uh, with uh, original versus replacement. So uh, these are original ones and this, these are replacements. And the only difference that uh, I could see, I mean, the, the color of the paper is the same. The difference is that uh, here on the original ones, uh, it says Dymo at the back and some other codes. Um, for example, on this one, there, it's something like this. And the um, the replacement ones, compatible ones, they don't have any printing apart from those uh, bars, which obviously allow the printer to recognize what the uh, label is inside or, or something like this. Now, should you buy replacement or originals? Okay, that's a good question. If it's your first time you're buying, you don't have any experience, I recommend you buy the originals. Uh, why? Well, the originals, they have a little bit higher quality and um, when I say quality, is um, the originals, they do not peel off as easily as the compatible ones. The compatible ones might peel off too easily and that might cause issues. Sometimes during printing, uh, 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 I had situation when some stickers were caught up and that caused a big mess. And obviously those printers, they just keep going and the mess accumulates until it jams or finishes, you know. So... Um, that, that, but that didn't happen very often. But nevertheless, if it's your first time, stick to the originals, uh, you will avoid lots of troubles. And also the original ones, they, although they peel off not, not as easily from the tape, the, the carrying tape, and uh, they peel off much more easier from the products, which is probably what you want. It may or may not be good, but Sometimes it's better if you can peel it off uh, from your product because you want to change the sticker to something else. Whereas these ones usually are a bit stronger. So again, that may or may not be a good thing depending on your situation. Quality wise, I didn't notice any quality in the printing differences. I mean quality differences in the printing on the compatible ones or the original ones. So nothing wrong with buying uh, compatible ones uh, but stick to the originals if you can the price difference usually is not that much especially if you don't print a lot it makes sense to to buy the original ones okay so what uh, labels do i use i use uh, mainly uh, four sizes however two predominantly uh, my main sizes is um, this one which is 32 uh, millimeters by 57. I'm gonna show you on the screen in a moment. And the big shipping label, uh, which is a six by four inches or 154 by 104 millimeters. And uh, I also use um, smaller ones, uh, 11355 uh, and uh, 11, uh, three, let me see, let me see, 356. And also, uh, let me actually show you. I'm gonna show you uh, here. Where is it? Here. So mainly I use 11354. These are the main ones I use. So these are these uh, for uh, product uh, stickers, and also the shipping labels, the big ones, which is this one, is uh, the big ones, the biggest ones, 1744907. Oh, By the way, to print these ones, you need a label writer 4XL, the largest one. Only the largest one can print uh, the, the biggest ones. Um, the other ones that I used are uh, 355, so 11355, as you can see, and also 11356, uh, which are a bit bigger. Uh, so these are uh, those a little bit bigger if I need a bigger product. And then uh, the tiniest ones, uh, 11355, these are the smallest ones. And then in between, uh, we've got 11352, I believe. So let's have a look um, on Amazon store. By the way, the links to all the products I'm talking about are in the description below this video. So all the labels, 
all the printers you will find the links to both Amazon UK and US underneath the video please use my links I will get a bit of a kickback from Amazon so that will be very generous of you thank you for for doing that so uh, let's have a look at this one so as you can see it's a 19 by 51 millimeters or three quarters of an inch by two inches and um, the code is here you can see three zero three three zero but also okay this is amazon uk uh that's the one the smallest ones let me see 19 by 51 yeah 19 by 51 11 355 or this other code s072255 now as you can see there are three different codes those two here uh, and also this one 3330 usually th these codes are more popular in the US than in the UK but you can find them in both countries now I haven't managed to um, to find a place where which would have a comprehensive table with all those codes together so unfortunately that's a lot of guesswork and look not guesswork actually looking for details and um, one place where you can find some information is um, um, uh, Dymos program the software that comes with the printer you you have the all the labels here if you click on this thing it will show you a uh, code so this is one code by the way there are two versions durable and standard versions so some uh, some labels come uh, in uh, as oh, holiday that's a special version with some add-ons you probably don't want them so adhesive is the standard version and uh, you've got oh, two codes in this case uh, yeah the SKU um, and in other cases uh, here you've got only one SKU um, let me find the one with uh, again durable this is adhesive standard uh, okay adhesive adhesive oh I'm sure I saw oh, this one is durable so sometimes you've got two versions sometimes there is one so you've got sizes here in inches unfortunately uh, but there are ways around this so at least you can find some information here and then you can go to uh, Dymos website by the way if you click on the link uh, where's the link uh, this one buy it will take you to Dymos website and then you can find those stickers and maybe click on view details and it will show you so this is a durable one uh, probably they don't even have it in the standard version I don't know and then you can find some extra information about this sometimes they give you the the extra codes or like SKU here and sometimes uh, so this is sometimes what you need to find the product and sometimes uh, it will not help you so again if you have found a place where I can uh, where there is this summary of all the codes that would be very useful otherwise you just need to go to various places maybe some other stores like this store shows you uh, this code and also this code so two codes but not the third one so it's a bit of a hit and miss and and I don't like that but what can you do so again uh, that's the smallest one that I use uh, usually very you, you don't need those the, you need to very tiny products to use those next size uh, it's this one 25 by 54 millimeters the code is 11352 or the other code is there another code for this yes uh, 3336 that's the other code uh, then this is the one that I use most often so 32 by 57 millimeters so it's 3334 that's the code and also the other code is 11354 or S0722540 so these are the two um, two codes uh, these are the most popular labels now what's special about these labels this is probably the smallest one that allows you um, to print in a fairly good quality if you uh, in, a, in a standard quality if you make the labels any smaller than this one so if you use the previous two that I showed you uh, you will actually uh, you need to set the quality to the highest possible otherwise it that the bars might be a bit blurry so the next one is 11356 that's the bigger one uh, sometimes useful uh, not often as these ones are good enough 
and again the other code so 11356 or okay I don't have the other code uh, but I'll send you the links uh, for them so you can easily find them the last ones are the shipping labels so the biggest ones uh, these are uh, as you can see the code is either this one s 90 or uh, it is also um, let me find it it is also this one 17 And this one, so I already mentioned this one is on, on the box, so 90, 0, 90, 40, 90, and it's here, and these are exactly the same labels. Uh, so they have a different code here and different code, product code or SKU here, but they're actually the same, exactly the same product. Uh, there is, as far as I know, there is no difference between them, at least in sizes. Okay, so these are the labels that I use. Uh, so what printers should you be using? Okay, I recommend that you have uh, three, two printers, but if, if you're on a budget, you can just stick with Dymo Label Writer 450. If you're planning to print thousands of uh, stickers every day, then you might get the turbo version, which is a little bit faster, but it's not gonna make a lot of difference to you really. So only if you really print a lot. Then the other option is the Twin Turbo. This one is a good one, not only because it allows you to print more, uh, but because it allows you to print on two different sizes. You don't need to uh, swap between one and another, which is sometimes very useful. So I recommend that you buy one of those, the Twin, the twin one. And also, if you have a budget, buy the 4XL. Uh, as it allows you to print those, the, the largest one, those shipping, proper shipping labels, as you can see in the picture here, the proper shipping labels. So this is the only one that will allow you to print those. Um, otherwise, so if you're on a budget, the one for 50, then you can buy maybe this one, and then uh, you can add this one, or you can buy this one, and, uh, and this one too, you decide. You decide which one is the best option for you. If you can buy both of them, uh, then buy this one and the twin one. If you're on a budget, buy just the 450 and you're really good to go. So uh, basically that's it. Again, all the links uh, to the products uh, below the video in the description, please use them uh, so I can get a bit of a, a kickback from Amazon. And otherwise, leave me comments, uh, questions. I will uh, try to answer them as soon as I can, usually within a day and uh, feel free to contact me to maybe you want to hire me as well um, i'm very happy to help you okay have a lovely day and uh, remember i also have other videos about printing and about uh, troubleshooting the printing of the fba stickers take care guys cheers